Shalom. First of all, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to, to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Wakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, of great millstone, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And I say uh, Shalom to you, Akim, out there. And this is a uh, quick sit down lesson on this June the 15th, uh, 2022, at 10.40 p.m. Uh, on this uh, Wednesday night. And the title of this quick sit down lesson is going to be for today is, I mean, for this Tuesday night, I mean, Wednesday night, it's a lot of I'll keep on saying it's Tuesday night, but it's actually Wednesday night. It's a lot for that. And the uh, title of this sit down lesson is going to be for tonight on this two on this Wednesday. It's going to be uh, uh, but wisdom that is from above is first pure and peaceful and gentle. And this is the book of James, chapter 3, verse 17. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, and easy to be, and treated, full of mercy and good fruits, without particularly and without hypocrisy. Right, because the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Heavenly Father is, is pure. You know, it's peaceful and gentle, you know, because through these holy scriptures, it's comforting. You know, it's comforting through the soul and it's comforting through the spirit, you know. That's why uh, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding should be the stability of thy time, you know. In reference to uh, Isaiah 33 and 6, I roughly paraphrase, you know. In uh, Ephesians 6 and 10 to 13, you know, putting on the whole armor of Yahweh, thy power, you know. Because the wisdom from the Heavenly Father is pure and it's peaceful and it's gentle, you know. And it's entreated with full of mercies. Because the Heavenly Father, He's a merciful, He's a merciful power. And He's a merciful Father as well, too, you know. But, you know, if you constantly, consistently breaking the law, statutes, and commandments of you, how about Shem El Shai, you know. Hey, He's going to. <clears throat> send those plagues on you, send those curses on you as well too. You know, because like the scripture says, the Heavenly Father chastises who he loves. And that's the children of Israel, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And the speckled bird is like as well too, that's scattered abroad through the four corners of the globe, you know. And, you know, we apply these scriptures to our everyday life, and especially being in this truth. Uh, still, control, you know, continue to grow in this truth meekness, humbleness, and sincerity, you know, and it's a beautiful thing uh, that the Heavenly Father gave us this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and taking heed to these uh, holy scriptures, and we thank the Most High for giving us this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and waking us up in these last days, you know, His servants, the true prophets of uh, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, you know, that's why we uh, try to apply these uh, law, statutes, commandments to the best of our ability. In this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Holy Scriptures, of uh, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, you know. And this is a, a precept, Galatians 5 and 22, verse 23. In verse 22, uh, through the Holy Scriptures, and it reads, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, and long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith. Verse 23, meekness, temperance against such, there is no law. Right? Because, you know, the fruit of the Spirit is love and joy and peace and long suffering, gentleness and goodness and faith, you know. And these are the words of Yahweh Bashanel Shai, you know. And that's good, you know, that, that this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, you know, and the spirit of love and peace. You know, and long, long suffering and gentleness, you know, that's we uh, ordain to have, you know, continuously, especially with the meekness and gentleness and goodness and faith, you know, continue to have that uh, strong faith of uh, Yahweh Yahweh Shai, 
and being constantly, consistently uh, being a good soldier for Hamashi Akihawa Shad, you know. And definitely meekness and temperance, you know, definitely. Because the Heavenly Father, he doesn't like a uh, person that's proud. You know, like the scripture says, proud go before destruction, you know. And a haughty spirit is his fall, you know. So we definitely don't want to be in that spirit of uh, proudness, arrogant, boastfulness, and haughtiness. You know, that haughtiness spirit. Haughtiness spirit, think you know everything. You know, we're not in that spirit, you know. We're in that spirit of uh, meekness, humbleness, and sincerity, you know. And uh, the, continue to learn these uh, holy scriptures and apply it to the uh, everyday walk of life. And definitely being in this truth as well, too, you know. <coughs> continue to grow in the truth. May Yahweh Hashem El Shai constantly, consistently uh, give us that uh, opportunity and chance and that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding and a, and a uh, sound mind and that stability, right frame of mind. And the Lord willing, He uh, let us continue to do that and so forth, you know. seek righteousness you know love of the heavenly father love of the brotherhood love from the elders apostles the great millstone you know and love from the elders and the deacons and the bishops that's we constantly consistently seeking and striving for uh, continually doing on so forth you know so we shouldn't cleave on to evil you know we try our best our ability to uh, separate from uh, sin and wickedness as well too and pure evilness, you know, because we're trying to be that uh, holy set apart people once again. And uh, keeping the law, that's commandments to the best of our ability, you know, with meekness, humbleness, and sincerity, you know, and not being carnally minded and not being evil minded, spiritually evil minded, you know. So that's why we uh, strive for uh, righteousness, putting on the whole armor of uh, Yahweh. Why your house shy? And um, you know, keeping the law, statute, commandments to the best of our ability, and c continue to strive for uh, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You know. Uh, this is another precept, Proverbs two and six. In verse six, for the Lord giveth wisdom out of His mouth coming knowledge and understanding right from the wisdom uh, of the heavenly father you know it comes out of his mouth with knowledge and understanding and the knowledge and understanding you know given to his servants the true prophets of the Yahweh Yahweh Shai you know and we learn the uh, and we definitely learn the constantly consistently of the wisdom knowledge and understanding and learning the precepts from our elders apostles of Royal Millstone including our elders and the deacons and the bishops and the Akim and the Brotherhood, like how the uh, Heavenly Father set it up, you know, because out of the Lord's mouth should come out of uh, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, you know, applying these holy scriptures, applying that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to the best of our ability, you know, and that's what we keep on uh, striving and seeking for, you know, uh, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, you know, to the best of our ability, you know. You know, because, you know, with that wisdom, we can get knowledge and understanding. That's what we continue to strive and continue to seek for with uh, understanding of knowledge and understanding of wisdom, uh, righteous wisdom, uh, righteous knowledge, you know, through the Holy Scriptures, you know, learning the precepts, you know, learning the precepts of the day, you know. And like the scripture says, blessed, blessed he that readeth, you know, continue to uh, read, 
and continue to learn and apply the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to the best of our ability. You know, because the Lord, He giveth for us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, you know. And the Wadi how about Chanel Shai for constantly, consistently giving us this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and definitely not taking it for granted, you know. And we thank the how about Chanel Shai for uh, letting us wake up every day to see another day, to be able to apply this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in our everyday walk of life in the everyday uh, crazy world that we're living in, you know? Cause, you know, we don't want to be bugged out like the uh, people in the world, you know? Cause we want to have that uh, right uh, function, stable mind, especially entering the times we're about to enter, you know, which is uh, Jacob's trouble, which is gonna be fully uh, manifest very soon, you know? And that's gonna come into full effect very soon. And once it comes to, f uh, to full effect, you know, we're gonna have this uh, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, you know? And that uh, right stability, uh, right frame of mind, and the stability of mind in the times that we're entering into, you know? Another police up right here. Uh, Luke chapter 21, verse 15. In verse 15, in the book of Luke, through the Holy Scriptures, and it reads, uh, For I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries should not be able to gain, save, nor resist. Right? Because the Heavenly Father is going to give us this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Like the Scripture says, Who shall be against it? Who shall be against us as long as we have the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son on our side, constantly, consistently, you know, with this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and having that shield, and having that shield of faith, and having that shield of uh, that whole armor and protection from the Heavenly Father, which is our Father, Yahweh, thy power, you know. And all the uh, adversaries and gainsayers, you know, make sure nor, nor resist, you know. You can't stop this uh, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding from Yahweh Shemel Shai. You know, like the scripture says, the Heavenly Father is, uh, is quick and edged in the uh, two-edged sword, you know. You know, the, uh, the powers of the Word, the powers of the Heavenly Fathers is sharper than the two-edged sword. I meant to say, I roughly paraphrase, you know. So this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, hey, spiritual Satan and physical Satan can't do, do, do nothing about it, you know? Another one, First John three and three, and every man that that is hope in Him, which is the Heavenly Father, in His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, purify Himself as He is pure, right? Because as long as we put our hope and trust in the Heavenly Father, you know, we should purif purify ourselves, you know. In the here, in other words, of uh, Yahweh Shemel Shai, you know. up again uh, Matthew chapter 5 verse 8 and verse 8 blessed are the pure in heart for sh for they shall see how of thy power right because blessed the uh, the man you know blessed the, uh, the servants the true prophets of uh, Yahweh Yahweh that we uh, constantly consistently be pure in heart to the best of our ability and then we shall see Yahweh thy power you know and that's a beautiful thing to that for us to see you how about Chanel Shack, you know. You know, all glory to the most high for giving us this uh wisdom, knowledge, and understanding and having given us an opportunity, chance to have us be pure in heart, you know. And we thank you how about Chanel Shack for that, you know. Yeah, 
so that'll be about it. You know, I hope this uh quick sit down lesson was edifying through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of uh, Yahweh Yahushai. And uh, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Markar Kadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And uh, shout out well to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And uh, shout out well to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, I will say shout out well and the ball, ball, ball.